Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm standing inside a 2024 Jayco Eagle 320 FBOK. This is a luxurious travel trailer, and it quite frankly reminds me a lot of the fifth wheels that I've been in that are of a higher class. I really like it. I want to get started right here in the very front where we have our bedroom. There's these nice big sliding doors that separate it off from the main area. And when we step in, we have a big king bed on a slide. Up under it, there's storage. It's hosting a few extra things. We'll get into that in a little bit. And then at the edge of the bed, we have a set of chest of drawers. So we've got some drawers down low, some storage options in the form of cabinets on the left and the right, and then a big Furion 30 inch electric fireplace. That's gonna put out a lot of heat in the winter time and help offset your propane cost. Up high, this is set up to take a TV so we can use that space for entertainment. There's a mounting plate in the wall where the sticker is, as well as all our connections on the ceiling. And on the ceiling as well, you'll notice that we have our own air conditioner unit dumping down into this room specifically. Now, because of the shape and size of this trailer, they've done something really neat in the front cap by giving us this bench to kind of sit down and put our shoes on in the morning or sit and read a book is kind of a nice little nook, if you will. There's some extra storage in the sense that we can lift and we have a large chest right behind it. And that automotive grade windshield in the front cap is going to let a lot of light in. Flanking the left and the right, we have hanging closets, and you'll notice in this Jayco that pretty much everywhere you sit down, we have charging points or power points. So we've got plugs with both USB and standard 110 outlets. That's very nice. Moving out of the main bedroom, we come into our kitchen area. This is pretty cool. This is set up really well, in my opinion. As soon as you come through the door, you're in the kitchen. We have a dining space in the slide and the primary kitchen on the patio side with a nice little window that we can look out onto the patio. This is equipped with all GE profile appliances. So we've got a GE big microwave up top, a GE 12 volt refrigerator, as well as a GE profile stove. It's a three burner stove and it has a big oven beneath as well as a large drawer for containing pots and pans. On our countertop here, they've given us sink covers just to extend our prep space. Below those, you'll find a dual basin stainless steel sink. That high rise faucet with the extendable wand is nice for washing out the pots and pans. And there's no shortage of storage in the form of cabinetry and drawers all the way around it. For dining, we have in the slide, as I mentioned earlier, our dinette. This is a fixed table. It's fixed to the wall, but it's kind of neat in the sense that it's transformable. So there's a knob underneath that we can pull and the table can spin and go flat up against the wall and be used like a desk. Now we've optioned this in with a bench on one side and two chairs on the other. When you do that, we're getting two foldable chairs because we can pull out that bench, which can also double as more storage and use it in front of the trifold sofa over here to kick our feet up. I think that's pretty cool given that we didn't order this in with theater seating because with the theater seating, you don't get the advantage of the extra bed. That's right, that being a trifold sofa, it lets out and creates another bed should you have guest. So this is all very, very useful and versatile. We can use it, move it around in a bunch of different ways and a bunch of different setups, just depending on what you're doing while you're camping. All of our windows are equipped with these awesome roller shades that are blackout. On the back side, you'll notice that they have that reflective lining just to help keep the heat down. And that works especially well in combination with the tinted windows. Other notable features in this combined living room kitchen space are the fact that we have a flush floor slide so there's nothing to trip on or stub your toe on getting in and out of that space. 
and the, the main air conditioning does not pop through our ceiling. It's tied to what they call their helix system, which makes it a lot quieter than a standard air. Moreover, right across from our trifold sofa, we have our primary entertainment system. Now, it hosts a little bit of a secret. In addition to having a big flat screen TV that comes out on a mount so it can turn and face our dining area or our kitchen, we have storage up high and another electric fireplace down low, again, putting out heat in the winter electrically. But behind all of this, there's a little handle and it reveals a gigantic pantry. So storage in this bad boy is amazing. We can keep all kinds of odds and ends, goods, canned goods, dry foods. We're going to be able to stay out for a long time, especially because this thing does have pretty large tanks on it as well. Moving from there, we head into the bathroom. And this is a super spacious bathroom. Even me at six foot three, I feel like I've got loads of space in here. We've got a porcelain foot flush toilet, a nice glassed in shower surround with a skylight up high so us tall folks fit in just fine. There's a fan for exhausting all those nasty smells that may happen to occur. And of course there is a medicine cabinet behind the mirror and plenty of counter space there for setting up our toothbrushes and whatever uh, morning things that you may need. There's storage up under the sink in the form of a cabinet and right here on the wall you'll notice a control for our tankless hot water heater. That means we have hot water on demand, it's never ending as long as we have a water supply running into the camper. In addition to all of that, this bathroom is equipped with a sliding door that reveals another large hanging closet area with a couple of shelves that can fold up and out of the way. And then down low, there's storage in the form of this cabinet, but all of that can be removed and we can install a washer dryer. So if you wanted to do laundry on the road, we can definitely set up a laundry room back here. I think that's really cool. Now, before we head outside and check out some of the features there, I want to head back up to the front and I want to point out a couple of things that I walked right on by. They've added some storage in the corner in the form of drawers. We've got some extra counter space for setting up a few things like a coffee maker or whatnot. We've got storage up high. And then right when you walk through the door, we have another coat closet with fold down shelves that could be used as additional pantry space, as well as just a little more space up above it for storing those extra things. Now, as far as controlling the camper goes, as soon as we come into it, on the left, we have our touchscreen BM Pro system. I know a lot of people don't like touch screens because they feel like there's no physical buttons for them to interact with. But BM Pro has kind of overcome this in the sense that we have immediate physical buttons for light switches on the bottom. And using these left and right arrows, we can select slides or awnings to extend or retract. So we don't necessarily have to use the touchscreen system to open everything up or turn things on. But Given that this is a Bluetooth system, we can connect it back to our phone and we can run it from our phone as well. But this gives us access to all of our lights, our tank controls, lets us check levels, as well as run our AC, run our slides in and out. It's all right here. That's pretty cool. Let's close this thing up and see what we can access with the slides in at a quick pit stop on the side of the road. And there it is. So the, with the main slide and the bedroom slide in, if you feel like squeezing, I guess you could get around the end of this little peninsula here and down to the bathroom. But quite frankly, I really feel like you would probably have to run the slide out at least a foot to comfortably get by all of this. But once that's done, even if you cranked it out just slightly, you will have access to pretty much everything. So all of your kitchen, your 
closet back in the bathroom as well as the bathroom, just popping that slide out ever so slightly is going to get you to everything you need to get to in the camper. Let's run everything back open and pop outside and check out some of the details there. Stepping out to the patio side of the 320FBOK, right at our main entryway, we have the more ride step above stair system. This makes contact with the ground, it makes it nice and solid going in and out, and just feels very secure. In addition to that, they've given us the more ride safety rail, which really extends the length of the arm rail going up and into the camper. This has a large electric awning that runs out at the touch of a button. It's LED lit and covers the majority of our patio side, including an outside kitchen area. This comes complete with a little refrigerator that's electric, a hot and cold hot water tap with a spray port, a sink, as well as a griddle. We have Bluetooth marine grade speakers outside. Those are connected back to the head unit inside and you can run your phone through them. In addition to the lights and the awning, they provide us with step lights just to give us a soft entry glow. This is equipped with Goodyear tires and some beautiful rims. In addition to the standard side view and rear view pre-wired camera systems, this is also pre-wired to put a camera above the main entry door. So in addition to being useful going down the road viewing your cameras from your cab, you can bring that monitor into the camper and use it as a security system once you're set up. At the front of the camper, we have a large pass-through storage. On the patio side, it contains our battery cutoff switch. It also has LED lighting inside. And on the off-door side, you'll see that it's a full wet bay, complete with control access to our auto level system. The front cap, is molded fiberglass with a large automotive grade windshield and they've loaded it up with marker lights and running lights. There is no tongue jack because this is equipped with a fifth wheel style four point electric auto level system. The battery tray is large enough to host a small generator as well. The sewage dump is located at the rear off door side of the RV all of our pools are here as well, so gray and black tank can be dumped right at this location. And they've given us a nice sewage hose carrier tucked up under the undercarriage. Also on the off-door side, Jayco's cut into any dead space that was available to us to give you extra storage. This occurs up under the bed slide. They've opened up a hatch where we can get a few extra things in for our journey. Up on the roof, you'll find our solar panel, which feeds back in to keep our 12 volt systems topped off. Two AC units, as well as an Air 360 WineGuard antenna to help us pick up those digital broadcasts wherever we may be. Overall, this is a very luxurious travel trailer that shares many features with its fifth wheel brethren. I think this thing's totally worth looking at if you're looking to go full time or you just want that full-fledged experience of having an apartment on wheels. If you're a solo traveler, a couple on the go, and you're just looking for a more luxurious upgraded camper, this Eagle's definitely worth checking out. You can see it for yourself in person at Southern RV of McDonough, Georgia, or visit us online at southernrv.com. Give us a call with any questions at 770-477-0552. And please like, comment, subscribe, share. It really helps out our channel. Until next time, happy camping. <laughs>